Obviously a lot of problems we experienced right here in Alabama as well, and it yep. has been a busy few days for much of the country. It really has been. The, I guess maybe part of the good news is we were really geared up for this weather on Wednesday. Yeah. We weren't exactly prepared for it yesterday, but it really kind of unfolded in a time where a lot of people were inside homes for Christmas. So if it was any other Friday, right. yeah, if it was any other Friday, people trying to get home from, from work, this would have been much worse. Yeah. So that's at yeah, least a little silver news. lining. No one was seriously hurt. No one was killed. That's really, really good news. We're going to keep the weather aware for today just because of the flooding concerns and there are lots of roads. I've been checking out social media here for the last 10 or 15 minutes. You should see some of the pictures. Go online and uh, just search hashtag ALWX and you're going to see a ton of pictures of washed out roads all across central Alabama. So please be careful out there for today. We will be drying out. Things will be a lot calmer on storm track radar here for the rest of today and into tomorrow. But more storms on Monday, another active weather day anticipated to start our work week. And isn't this a nice sight? Sunrise just above the horizon. A pretty scene on our storm track tower cam live in Birmingham after a very rough couple of days for a lot of folks. It's nice to see this picture early this morning. The rain has started to wind down. Just one spot that we're still watching after some pretty heavy rain overnight. This tiny little shower now moving out of Fayette County into Winston and Coleman County. Folks in Wilson Bend, you'll see this little shower move through in about five minutes or so. Smith Lake in seven minutes and Crane Hill in around 16 minutes, most likely fizzling before it ever uh, reaches out of our viewing area. So let's talk about our storm track future cast. A little bit of cloud covered today, maybe a few showers, a, a few light showers, maybe some sprinkles around for this afternoon. We're not going to rule that out, but nothing serious at all for today as far as rainfall goes. So that's some good news. We continue the drying out trend for tomorrow. And like you see on storm track future cast, just a few little tiny showers aren't going to be totally out of the picture for tomorrow, but no heavy rain. That all changes by Monday as another storm system moves through, another cold front. And this one's going to act just like the one did last week where it moves through, kind of retrogrades, moves back to the north, and just sticks around for a while. And that's going to be the focus for more rain chances through the beginning and middle stages of next week. We call for more rain on Monday, a tiny little break on Tuesday. I think we still see some showers on Tuesday. But Wednesday, another round of some pretty heavy rainfall, especially in the southeastern corner of our viewing area that picked up a ton of rain over the last 48 hours here. So we're going to be dealing with this flooding concern all the way through next week, unfortunately. But by the end of 2015 on Thursday and the beginning of 2016 on Friday, things do look a lot drier and a lot colder. Temperatures not cold at all. Numbers well into the 60s. And temperatures in the morning about 10 degrees above where we should be for afternoon highs. And our afternoon highs today will be about 20 degrees above where they should be. Some isolated showers can't be ruled out. And we'll see numbers in the low and middle 70s. 63 tomorrow morning. Cloudy and very mild. Some patchy fog. Not out of the question. But I think most of us will steer clear of that. You see... The shower chances ramp back up with some thunderstorms on Monday. Could be another very active day. Severe weather, not part of that scenario just yet. But of course, we'll keep you posted. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the rain chances continue with the best rain chances again on Wednesday and much cooler but much drier to start off 2016. And download the Storm Track Weather app right now. It's free in the App Store or Google Play. Your hour by hour forecast help you plan your day and keep track of the rain too with live interactive radar. It was handy for me, that's yes, for so sure. For a lot of folks it was. Those live weather alerts too to let you know where lightning is. Absolutely. Very, very useful. Awesome. Nate, thank you. You're we welcome. appreciate it.